<coughs> Choke there. <coughs> hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Just gonna do some random doodles today. Oh, my iPad is cold, so it's getting all steamy handy. Oops, and I've knocked everything. Oh, this is a disaster of a start to a video, but this is real, real world, real life. Anyway, hopefully you're all good. This is what I like to do sometimes when I don't know what to draw on iPad. I'll just draw like a few doodles. Um, well, not a few doodles, but a few like random little assortment of lines and and then I'll change the colour. Uh, let's say that, so it's contrasting. And then I won't draw over them, but instead I'll just kind of add to them. So this is an easy one. This is going to be like a hand arm kind of thing. How have we all been? It seems like my Venusaur video was uh, quite popular, which is nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just thought I'd do some more um, Procreate sketches because I quite enjoyed them. How have you guys been? What you been up to? Um, I've been streaming on Twitch a little bit more again now, so if you want to catch me there, feel free to check out the stream. It's Bubba Bubba Breakfast. Um, it's in my in my like YouTube bio, whatever. If you want to try it, I mean, try it if you want to find it. So there you go. I was going to change them to like the same name, but I decided I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just leave them as separate kind of things. And I was gonna upload some of my streams to YouTube, and I did for my first stream back, but then I just thought, you know what? I wanna keep this as art, just like, just strictly art, because then it makes me do the art more. And I really, really do enjoy doing art. So, yeah, this is just gonna stick as art, which some of you will be happy about, and some of you maybe not. But if you do wanna catch me playing some games or whatever, or if you wanna watch me play some games after, then um, I think my streams stay on the channel for like two weeks or something. So yeah, you can watch them after the fact or whatever. How have you guys been? What you been up to? I have been drinking a can of Monster. Just one can I had yesterday and one can the day before, but it does not do me any favors. It really like messes up my stomach, which is not fun. Um, it was Louis's birthday, so the, the few of you, I'm just gonna draw a load of arms, I think. Some of these are very easy arms. Um, some of you guys on the comments said happy birthday to Lou, which is awesome, and I did tell him, and he was just like, oh, that's nice. Um, he, he doesn't really care, but but he had a nice birthday. He got some nice things, got him a Nintendo Switch, and then he got a little bit of birthday money, so he bought the Harry Potter Lego game, and we got him Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because he, he asked for those games. So uh, he's been playing them, enjoying them. He also got like loads of Lego. Well, not loads, maybe like, Four sets, maybe five, I'm not really sure. Um, but he's seen a couple of his mates at the weekend. They're going to the cinema to see Madam Web, which I'm not really sure how I feel about Madam Web because I don't know if it looks that great. But me and me and Eleanor are just going to like look after the kids basically. And before that though, he's gonna go there's like a dessert arcade kind of place where we live, so I'm gonna go check that out. And that's it really. What have you been up to? I've been enjoying streaming um, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, you know what, I've now that I've got a mega PC, um, I feel that I've been like missing out on some of these games. Not all of them, some AAA games are just not good. But I definitely feel like I've missed out on certain games. Some games like XCOM 2, I always wanted to play that. I played it a bit on Xbox, but I feel like games like that, they're much better on PC. I feel like they just, uh, they just flow a bit better. Um, what games, I oh, know, I say this nearly every every video, but what games are you guys into? Someone, oh, someone off, uh, suggested someone, something that was called like Sword DX or something like that. I haven't checked it out yet, but I meant to. So I'll definitely check that out. I, I, I want to go on like a good adventure in a game. I'm thinking I'm going to play The Last of Us Part 1. Because I always wanted to play that and it was my, my buddy Warren's favourite game. So I don't know if it still is, but it was. Um, so definitely need to check that out. Should we try and just do a whole page of arms? I don't know. Hey people, sorry about that. Um, even though that you won't even notice um, any time has gone. 
Eleanor was ringing me, so I just wanted to see what she wanted. But yeah, um, I can't remember what I was going to say, but I got this little drink from the shop because my local coffee shop that I like to go to, it's getting expensive. They just put the prices up a little bit, but yeah. I'm not super, super fond of the actual taste of coffee, but it doesn't taste too bad. Um, I don't really know what this is, I'm just kind of doodling. What are you guys drawing if you're drawing along with me? Do you guys like have like a drawing club? I don't like that. Let's just do it like that. Do you guys have like a drawing club or I saw a video by Jake Parker. I think it's Jake Parker. I, I sometimes I say Jake Parker, sometimes I think it's Jake Morrison. I don't really know. But he was talking about having like a drink and draw session. Which I think would be a nice Nice idea. He was actually interviewing another guy who's come up with a book called Tankhead, um, which you can pre-order if you're in if you're interested in that. He just draws like crazy mechs and stuff. I'd like to be able to draw mechs, but I don't know. I just I haven't unlocked that ability yet. I tried to get into it a while ago, but I think I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I like drawing like kind of like organic shapes, blibs and blobs, if you like. Some blibs and some blobs. I just would love to draw Venusaur at the minute. I think Squirtle, Venusaur, they're my two favourite Pokemon at the minute. I'm a Gen 1 kind of guy, and I like a couple of Gen 2s, like uh, Totodile and that evolutionary kind of path. That was kind of cool. Um, what I was thinking also about draw, doing a lot more videos where I draw like a single Pokemon in my style, because the, the Venusaur one was quite fun to do. I might, I might do that. I don't like how that finger turned out. You know what? I don't care. Let's just carry on. Put a couple of these on there, because why not? Have you any of you guys played The Last of Us? Because it does look amazing. But I don't want to like fall into the hype trap, if you like, where it's just been so hyped that you think, oh, this is going to be crazy, and then it's just not that good. <laughs> Which often happens with games like Starfield was such a disappointment and now I think on Steam it has like no one playing it or like in, in equivalency to when it first came out it has basically no one which is a real shame but they promised a game that it just wasn't I think they basically promised No Man's Sky but better but apparently No Man's Sky has had like some crazy updates recently so I'm, I'm tempted to check that out as well I played that little bit in the past, and uh, it was kind of boring. But I don't know. I think you have to probably have to put a, quite a few hours into it for it to get get going. Right, what we got? What we what we thinking with these little lines? I suppose sometimes I'll just start drawing on these lines. I don't really think about it too much. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. You know, might do something like this. Not that last bit, don't like that. This is basically what I like to do when I don't know what to draw. You draw the initial little squiggle lines, <clears throat> and then and you kind of just build off them, figure things out. It kind of makes me use my imagination a bit more, although sometimes I don't really, I, well, I don't feel like I'm using my imagination, but I guess I am. I'm just doodling. Suppose if you were actually sitting drawing with a friend, you wouldn't be like, well, I don't know. I was gonna say you wouldn't be constantly talking, but maybe you would. I'd think sometimes you just sit quiet, maybe listen to the music or drink your coffee or I don't know, have a beer, whatever. You guys, alcohol drinkers? I'm not much of an alcohol drinker, you know? I probably have like one cider a month. I don't like beer or lager or bitter or anything, anything like that, ales. I'm just not a drinker. I don't like whiskey. I tried to get into whiskey a while ago because I thought, like, yeah, I'm a man. I like that shit, but I don't like it at all. I, I actually like really, really kind of hate it. It doesn't taste good to me. It's like burns you. It burns my insides. Anyway, yeah. Uh, after this, <clears throat> well, to be honest, by the time I was gonna say after this, I'll be streaming, but by the time you have probably watched this video, you. Uh, 
I, I would have already streamed. But yeah, if anyone wants to check out the stream, that'd be cool. It is cool to watch some, uh, actually like live chat to some of you guys. Like Zach, I appreciate you, buddy. Super cool. It's, it's nice to make online friends. In real life, I don't have a lot of friends. I have a friend called Dan, but he's he's a busy guy. He's working. He's got kids and stuff like that. Same with me. I'm, I'm working. I've got kids, so it's hard to find time for each other. You have a, a catch up like once every, I don't know. It feels like once every like, couple of years or something. We will just send each other like stupid stuff on text, like voice messages telling each other you're gonna kill each other, or I don't know, just stupid stuff like that. It's funny, but it's our sense of humour. So that's them red lines. What's next? Um, this is just what I like to do. What you guys do? You, do you guys ever take off your phone case? It's absolutely disgusting. Now. I don't know if you can see that. It's just all cr crusty, crusty crab pizza. The crusty crab pizza. I'm not sure if I like this. It's frappuccino. It's kind of like cr nice and creamy, but also. I don't know. It's the coffee taste that I don't like. Let's just mirror this thing. Someone's texted me. James Azif. Oh yeah. Oh, I put a. There's a. There's a YouTuber who does like PC builds and stuff like that called PC Centric, and he um. He was doing a PC build, and it was a very similar PC to what I actually have which was kind of cool. So I commented on it saying that I got a, I got a similar, a, a similar PC, um, but when they build it, they build it wrong. And uh, they actually put a 4070 Super in it instead of a 4070. And he replied saying, did you tell them? I was just like, don't be silly. And why would I tell them that? But then other people commented on, it, commented on it and it made me think like maybe, because it's not actually the product that they meant to give me, maybe it will affect the warranty. But I don't plan on like overclocking my computer or absolutely murdering it, murdering it or anything like that. So I should be okay, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't just like die. Sometimes things do, don't they? Like cats and dogs and that, like uh, TVs and that. They sometimes you just turn them on and they're just like, nope, I'm done. That's annoying, isn't it? I was talking to the someone at work about this yesterday, how it's like, uh, I call it planned obsolescence because I saw it on a video about light bulbs. I don't know, I'm an interesting guy. I watch videos about light bulbs, but yeah, um, <clears throat> I I saw it on a video about light bulbs. Basically, when they first made light bulbs, they were they made them so they would last like I don't know, 15 years or something. I don't know exactly, <clears throat> but then from a business point of view, that doesn't make sense because you buy a light bulb every 15 years, and then they were just like, no, make them last a year instead. Maybe I can't remember of the exact times and stuff, but they were like, but now they do that with like all products. And the guy at work was saying like, when he was younger, if your TV broke, you had it. There was a guy in town who would come round and fix your TV, and you'd have the same TV for like twenty years. But now it's not like that. Now you um, you're lucky if a TV lasts you like three years, which is annoying. I just think. We live in such a consumer world, and it's a shame it has to be that way, but that's how it is, unfortunately. Eleanor was telling me the other day as well, if you do check out my stream, I know I've mentioned it a few times, but I'm not I'm not trying to like make you, but um, she was telling me she doesn't like me out when I'm streaming, because she says like I'm, I'm not that good person, but I am. It's just, I get a little bit hyped up, I get a little bit excited, and I think she, she doesn't super, super enjoy that. I don't know what that is, but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, you got to be a little bit entertaining for the viewers, haven't you? This is my, like, chill thing, and then gaming is where I get a bit more hyped up, a bit more excited. You know, speaking of hyped up and excited, I was playing Fortnite with Louis the other day, because he loves that. And then his sister was online, who is not my kid. Um, different dads, you know. Um... And we were, we got in a party with her, and then some of her school friends joined. She's like in year seven. She's she's about well, she's going to be twelve soon. But some of the other kids, her other little friends, joined, and they're like crazy good at Fortnite. But they are absolute assholes, like all of them. It's just the stuff they're saying, and like I don't know, they're just horrible. I just think like, I hate children. It makes you hate them all, but. 
well, maybe it's just them ones, but then she goes to school near where we live, and we were just like, oh, yeah, Louis can go to that school after us. It would be really good, it would be convenient and stuff, but now, like, I, I, I only hear bad things about that school, so I don't think I want Louis to go there, which... Uh, it's kind of inconvenient because then we have to still drop him off to school. Although I suppose you could maybe get a bus or something, I don't know. Eleanor's talking about sending to a school a little bit further away. It's not like super far or anything like that, but it's uh, I like how this is turning out so far. I like the, my shading on this little sword. What are you guys drawing anyway? Yeah, we're talking about sending to school and stuff. I'm 32 years old, okay, I've got kids and I've got work and stuff like that. I'm not some 17 year old little bullsack, but Real life stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't want to send him too far away, but I, I don't think I want to send him to that school. Um, let's just do a little hand. I like an artist on YouTube called Chris Piasic. I think that's how you say his name, Piasic. Something like that. Um, but he does a lot of like lettering and stuff, and I'm not like super flowy with the lettering. I just write stuff. B. Right. I don't, know. I don't know why I chose like B to be my letter of choice for uh, for my online usernames, but I have my name. My actual name is Lawrence, so if anyone wants to call me Lawrence, feel free. I don't mind. Um, I don't know what I can turn this kind of area into, I'm just drawing stuff. Alan says she might take a little bit of time off work at the minute, because she's got like, well, technically, I don't think she has like the actual diagnosis, but <clears throat> she's been told by doctors that she will more than likely get rheumatoid arthritis. So, um, and I don't know, just certain times a year, I think it's when she's just been eating a bit of crap food, or maybe it just kind of happens, but she has like a bit of a flare up, and her wrists are like really, really sore. And um, yeah, she's suffering from that quite a little, quite a little bit, quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know what these things are, but I like them. All right, this little bit here, maybe we could attach this to this sword somehow, I'm not really sure. Let's just do that. I was thinking about playing the new like remake and rebirth and rejig of um, the Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy Seven, um, and all that. But I just feel like those games—they're not really like Final Fantasy anymore. Like I knew, obviously they are Final Fantasy, but. I heard like whatever Final Fantasy you played originally, that's always going to be your favourite. I don't like that eye. Let's, let's, let's rub it out. Don't have to be perfect. Finish not perfect. There we go. Do. Um, and we got this last little bit up here. How long's this video been? 13 minutes on this bit. But I don't know how long the other bit was. So let's just say about 20 minutes. I don't like to make these videos like super crazy long. We gotta get a squirtle head in there, haven't we? Um, somewhere. I might just add a few bits. You know what? Yeah, let's just add a few bits because it's not very full. Um, let's make that a bit longer. Put one of them. A little eyeball. A little tiredness. See how I'm like? I'm, I don't really think about the lines that I'm making sometimes. Just put lines down. This is just healthy habits, okay? I'm not a professional artist or anything like that. I just, I like to draw. It's just a good hobby. Maybe one day it will grow into something, but for now, no. I, you know what I would love to do, like, um, professionally is I'd like to make these videos and maybe have some sort of merch, like a, a coloring book or just an art book and um, stream games online. Just stuff like that, online creation. Some people might call it content creator. Let's get some shading in here. I don't use the paper mate, uh, not paper mate, what's it called? What's that screen cover called? Paper, paper like. I was gonna say it's like paper and then it hit me. Um, 
yeah, I don't use that because it, apparently it like, breaks down these nibs and I don't want to pay for these. This is the first nib I've ever had. And if I look super, super close, then maybe it has some slight, like the slightest, slightest amount of uh, like mark or damage or whatever, but basically nothing. Feels good. Right, okay, so I am gonna go back onto this color, I think it was. Yeah. And I'm just gonna make a few other little doodles. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know what that is gonna be. I'm just gonna move this bench slightly because it's just tapping. It's tapping the table and it's annoying me. Um, you know what, I'm gonna just do one of them. That's gonna be another thing that you might be familiar with. Um, let's, do, let's do an eyeball. Um, hmm, let's just do a little squiggle, a couple of them. Let's do one of them. And let's just go with that for now. And then we're going to switch back to the other color. And we're going to go on to my favorite little squirrel. Uh, let's go nostrils. I definitely do want to draw more Pokemon. I don't like that eyebrow. I like to do the eyebrow. It's kind of like a little mini cloud. And then just put a little bit of shading underneath it just to make it stand out a smidge. A little bit of tiredness under the eye. Squirtles work hard, you know. I started writing a little a little squirtle kind of story. I call these guys shellbacks, but they they originally come from squirtle, so whatever. Um yeah, I started writing a little story, but then I've just thought like I'm I'm kind of putting my eggs in too many baskets. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stop writing this story because I'm not super super passionate about it. Um and I'm just gonna to stick to doing one thing. So I, I thought I'm gonna draw instead. But basically the story was this guy, I can't remember what it, I think I called him Bunks. Like B-U-N-X. I'm going to leave that there, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, I started writing the story and he basically just kind of lived a normal little boring life. He, um, just doing the same thing. I can't really remember exactly 100% what, what happened, but he, um, one day he fell over in his little shack thing that he lived in and he just saw some sort of like shiny thing. I think I called the chapter the shiny thing. That head just does not look good. Let's do, let's do this. Let's bring this in nice and close. Same with this one. Maybe down here a little bit and then we'll go a lot closer. Sometimes if I don't like just drawing like the solid line around like that, because that's just a bit boring, I'll put some little lumps and bumps on it. Just makes it look a little bit more interesting. There we go. Slightly better. I'm not, you know what actually, let's do this. Rub that out a little bit. I don't have the eraser on like full opacity, if you like. So it, it actually like, I don't know if you can see that. I went over it a bit, but sometimes it will leave a bit. So if I'll do it lightly, it doesn't rub out much. If I do it hard, it will rub out more, but it's still left a little bit. Um, so let's just give him kind of like a little mohawk. Sexy. But yeah, he, he was following the shiny thing in the story. Sorry, I lose my trail of thought. Um, he was following the shiny thing and he was getting to a forest and then I just kind of stopped and I kind of feel like I should have done more but I just lost interest as I do with certain things um, let's do this this is going to be a Venusaur I'm really enjoying drawing Venusaur at the minute see how they almost have like the same start of the face like the mouth like that the nostrils, the eyes, you can do it like that, you can do it like shut like that. And then it's basically just the shape of the head that is different. Venusaur has some ears. I don't really know why he has ears. 
he, she. Do you think the like original idea for a Venusaur is male or female? I know you, like, you can get the two genders of Pokemon, but Pokemon hasn't quite gone woke yet. But um, I like to make it my own a little bit. I'm drawing kind of fast today, I don't really know why. Feeling good, maybe this coffee's kicking in. I don't know, it's World Book Day to, today here in the UK. Do you guys have World Book Day wherever you're from? Um, it's called World Book Day, so I'd assume so, but I don't know. Never hear about any like Americans or anything doing World Book Day. We dropped Ellis off to the nursery today and luckily, there was another little kid there and he was dressed up as a stormtrooper but his dad was just like, oh, is it some sort of dress up day today? We were just like, yeah, it's World Book Day. He was like, oh, he just wanted to dress as a stormtrooper. I was just like, well, you got lucky. Which is kind of funny. Adult, boring, parent humour. <laughs> you know, when I used to draw and see other people do like details like that on the ear, it's like damage, or maybe it's a scar, maybe it's a tattoo, something like that, or just like, like that. I just kind of, um, I don't know, I just kind of like, I'd just do too much of it. And then it would look like unintentional, even though it was kind of over-intentional. So you kind of just have to know what what is enough with it. I'll guarantee there's people out there who are watching these videos that I like making and they're like, man, this guy's art sucks. Or maybe they're not like that and they're a bit more, a bit kinder. And they're just like, um, I don't know, maybe they're just a lot more skilled at drawing. But maybe they've been thinking about making a YouTube channel. Maybe just do it. Someone's texting me. My mate Dan. I don't know what he's saying, I'll check it out there. I use my phone to make these videos, so I'm not checking right now. Do you guys think it's cool how I leave the red line there so you can see like the original lines? I quite like that. So you can kind of see like what I turned each thing into. Although because he's got a big red like mouth, it kind of looks like a little bit like lipstick. That doesn't look super um Venusaur like, but then if you add like the arms and stuff, um... sometimes do the feet like that, or sometimes it's better if his head's a bit lower and he's kind of like laying on his feet, like I don't know, like resting. Or sometimes you can do like the claws first, like the the reference picture that I originally used had like claw toes. I'll just do one of each one, I? Um, yeah, it had like claw toes, kinda. And then we'll add a little tattoo of some sort, just like a skull. It's an easy one, isn't it? Skull Cyclops. Um, that arm's a little slightly too high up, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. And this is kinda like his chest, Kind of belly area, so we'll shade it out because it's going to be like under his massive head. I like Venusaur, I don't know why. This guy kind of looks a bit like kind of bear like. You know what? I think is kind of satisfying but also not for a beginner artist. A while ago, I was. Uh, I liked an artist, I still like them, I liked an artist called Lady T on Instagram, you, some of you guys might follow her, she does cool art, she does like little Pikachu, Zelda, um, I don't know, just like a little adventure kind of thing sometimes, sometimes she doesn't upload for a little while, but whatever, um, and I messaged her saying like, oh, what, what resolution are you using on Procreate, she was just like, just the normal screen, and I was just like, what does that mean, like, but it was basically just like screen size, it doesn't matter. And it's, I don't know if she did it intentionally, but I just took that as, it doesn't matter. So just don't overthink it, just get, get your pen on the page and just get drawing. But she, um, and then I said, oh, I don't know if it was on the same one or whatever, but I basically said like, what, um, what pen are you using? I was one of these people that asked this and now I'm not because now I know it, does, it really doesn't matter. But um, 
she was just like just regular HB pencil. And I was just like, I don't want to say I was heartbroken, but I was kind of like disappointed in the answer because I, I wanted it to be like a, a special magical pencil that I could use to be at that similar level. Um, oops. But now I know that there's no such thing. You just have to get busy drawing. I think pixel art is a, a good thing for that in a way. Because there's no magical pencil which just add in pixels. Which is kind of cool. Just kind of takes away from the, the complication of... I think sometimes when people are asking what, what pencil are you using and stuff like that, it's, it's more of a procrastination thing. It's because they don't know what um, what to draw, how to draw, but just drawing is the answer. Um, let's do this. Just kind of make a random shape, and you know that's like ear slash horn like. I've watched tons of videos about drawing, but the only way to get good at drawing is to draw, and I'm. I'm still like nowhere near where I would like to be in comparison to others, but comparison is the thief of joy. I don't know, I'm just talking rubbish. I'm spitting all over my iPad as well. I'm gonna play some more Hogwarts after this on stream whilst this video is uploading. That'll be fun. Ellen is working from home today, so she might pop in. Some of you guys who checked out the stream have now started calling her Mrs. Breakfast. I'm trying to get her to get into streaming, but she just doesn't want to. I think she'd probably enjoy just playing The Sims or something, which I will probably play again at some point. The Sims is probably like one of the games where I got my most viewers. It's a good, fun game. Right, um, we're gonna do this last little bit here, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. I actually really like how this has turned out. I like this pencil, and if anyone wants to know, it's the number four pencil or pen, whatever, brush in the Danny Diaz toolbox. So if you Google that or you go on Danny Diaz um, Instagram, I'm sure he'll have links in his bio or whatever. Check it out, it's worth it. It's a cool, scratchy pencil. Um, let's just do another arm. Let's go back to where we started. Um, that's going to be the big mega bicep that I like to draw. Speaking of World Book Day, it's World Book Day today, and Louis's gone as Willy Wonka, and Ellis has gone as like I think it's called Elma. It's like an elephant that's got loads, loads of kind of patchy colours on it. Um, but he didn't want to keep the elephant head on. He wasn't a fan of it. But anyway. Um, but there's some kids in Louis's class, and I'm sure there's other ones in the rest of the school that, unfortunately their parents, I don't know if they can't afford it, or they forget, or their priorities are elsewhere, but they don't um, always remember, or for whatever reason, they don't get their kids um, costumes, or dress them up, whatever. Some people just can't afford it, and that's fine. But some people definitely can afford it, and they don't do it. Um, I won't name names, but whatever. And uh, so we've got like a few costumes from Halloween or just old book days, or Louis had like a Pikachu onesie that he never wears anymore. So Ellen sorted it out and said like Louis could bring it in and kind of donate it to other kids who don't have costumes and stuff, which is super nice. And then out just before school, Lou was just like, you guys are really nice. And I was just like, oh, what do you mean? He was like, because some kids can't do it and blah, blah, blah. And I just thought to myself, it's not me that's nice, it's Eleanor. Like those thoughts, I do, I do kind of think them, but Eleanor's like, she doesn't even hesitate. She's straight in there with the, the being nice. It's, it's just super automatic in her nature to just do the nice thing. Even if it's kind of like, putting herself out. Um, 
she'll just do it. And I think that's why she's why she's a, a good mum because she's she's so tired all the time because she's going above and beyond. Like she's knackered now. She's a little bit ill this week, but she's um, her arms weird. But whatever. Um, yeah, but she's taking Louis to Cubs tonight, which is like scouts, but younger. And uh, yeah, she just goes above and beyond, and it's lovely. Anyway, pretty much finished this drawing. How are you guys? What have you been up to? Let me know. Thanks for the recent subs, by the way. I'm at a little bit over a thousand, about 1,019 the last time I looked, which is cool. And uh, yeah, just keep it growing. Hopefully take a couple of you guys over to Twitch if you want to check it out. Again, I mention it. I sound desperate, but whatever. Um, and that's it. I'm just kind of like shading. I feel like I could shade this eternally. Shade some more fingers. I have a very simple approach to the shading. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because that will do. So thanks for watching, people. Thanks for watching, people. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.